Hello and welcome back to the channel Life of a Pharaoh. Today I was going to talk about the development of a puppy, in particular this puppy, over the months we have had him. Because sometimes I feel like it can be hard to see progress. It feels like things are standing still and nothing gets better <laughs> and this could be interesting for someone who's getting a puppy or someone who's getting a pharaoh maybe it's the same for you maybe it's different so we got him when he was nine weeks so the first span i want to talk about is between two and three months the first month we could barely pet him only when he was sleeping he was super bitey he was biting on our hands he was biting on clothes he was everywhere it was only when he was sleeping we could actually like be affectionate with him he was also super afraid outside like we could barely walk around the block because he just freaked out over everything in the beginning he had a puppy pen uh, for the first week we didn't install it we thought we could live without it that was completely wrong have a puppy pen uh, once we installed that he became calmer and kind of found his place to rest and take it easy so that's definitely a recommendation of mine some people crate their dogs I don't but we had a puppy pen between three and four months he started to have really high energy it was like he settled into the house and got more confident so he used to have night tantrums like right before we went to bed when we came here into the bedroom he got this crazy tantrums and zoomies and he just ran around biting on the bed the carpet everything and we just didn't know what to do so we started to have a little puppy pen even in here for a while because he has had so much energy and he had so much confidence in the house that he felt like he could do whatever he wanted <laughs> but on the other hand he got easier and easier to train he was very eager to be trained and he was very eager to learn new things he started to understand the commands more frequently and it was actually easier and easier to train him in different places in the house where he kind of generalized some of the concepts so he became way easier and more fun to train but he was still very bitey he was still very nippy when he got excited when he was sleepy all the time so it was a really hard period because even though he became more fun he had more energy and he was still bitey and those two things together just became such a horrible experience for everyone in the household between four and five months something happened it was kind of like he decided that he was a big boy now <laughs> so he was way more eager to go outside and he really really enjoyed being outside he wanted to explore way more and sniff around and play around and even playing with the leash in a way that he hadn't done before but it was also way more fun because we could all of a sudden start to walk more places and try to socialize him a little bit more in cafes and then with friends because it felt like he was a little bit more confident in general of course you need to socialize your dog from day one in different ways but also don't push them too much to the extent where they feel unsafe because unsafety can become fear and fear can become reactivity so be careful and feel your dog like be an advocate for your dog what is good for them and what is not and get to know your dog before you put them in different situations but with this confidence also came pulling on the leash like he had never pulled on the leash before but then at like four or five months he all of a sudden started to pull a lot so from being this kind of timid guy who was a little bit afraid of everything all of a sudden he became a quite confident dog that wanted to be all over the place also around this time he became more vocal so we hadn't heard much barking from him up until this point but around this age he started to 
bark more it was kind of like he found his uh, he found his voice and he was not afraid to use it between five and six months something definitely happened he became way more reactive to other dogs uh, start to bark when he saw them or smell them. He's still doing that and that's something we're really working on like every single walk That's something I work on hard. Two good things happen and I think it's good to recognize when you're making progress at between five and six months He became way less bitey Like he didn't go straight to our hands. He didn't bite at our clothes in the same manner as before he like he calmed down his bitiness and i think all of his teeth had to come out and he was just a little bit more chill with his biting also around this time he got way more personality because before that he was a puppy and puppies they have personality but they are just tiny babies and just like a human child, they start to develop their personality once they become more comfortable and they when they can express themselves a little bit more. And around five, six months, that definitely happened with him. He became so much more goofy. We start to have like our own language of communication in a sense. So it became way more fun to have a dog around five, six months. <coughs> What I have seen lately uh, is that he has way more control over his energy. So remember I told you that he used to have tantrums and we couldn't stop him? But now we can at least call his name and that kind of snaps him out of it. And we can tell him to calm down, chill for a second, redirect him to a toy something like that which helps a lot and this have happened years the past month he's also way better in the house in general i would say he's potty trained now i will do a separate video on how we potty trained him living in an apartment he knows in general what he's allowed to do and what he's not allowed to do but sometimes he just has too much energy and he can't control himself but one bad thing has happened the past month, and that is... I think he's entering a rebellious phase. Because... He used to be this timid little boy who always listened to mom, went to where mom went, and all of those things that puppies do. Now, he... I can say sit, and he just looks at me and be like, Mom, I'm not gonna sit <laughs> and he used to do anything for chicken nowadays he's like chicken I don't care about chicken I want to go over there and bark at that dog so he's he's way more of an independent individual who makes his own decisions and that can be so frustrating but I also think if I stay consistent if we work every day, we try to like maintain a good schedule and a good routine and he knows the house rules and he knows the rules when going out. We all had rebellious faces. I mean, I was not fun when I was a teenager. I was not fun when I was a young adult, but see, I turned out great. So I have high hopes that he also will turn out great. I can't stress enough as soon as you get your puppy, take it to puppy course because they give you so many tools. You can kind of complain with the other dog owners about stressful events, about things you're going through and you don't feel so lonely. You will also see that everyone is struggling with different things and that can make you feel not happy, but it can make you feel like you're not the only one struggling and you can also feel like oh they struggling with that but my dog is quite good at that I struggle at this thing so it's okay 
So I can't stress enough how good it's been for us to go to puppy classes and continue to go to courses every week. But so in general, I talked to my friend the other day who has been around Malik since basically we got him. Uh, and she said, oh my god, it's so nice to say hi to him now because he doesn't bite and he started to be so polite and cuddly. And that comment made me want to do this video because I see my dog every day. I hang out with him all the time. So I don't see the progress in the same way she does. And I said, oh, I haven't even noticed. And she was like, no, because you're with him every day. With a dog, you're always so much in the moment. You're here and now. So you're so much in the moment that you sometimes forget what it was a week ago or two weeks ago or three weeks ago. And that's also the beauty of having a dog. You are forced to stay here and now and not think too much about the future or the past. But it can also make you forget how it was two months ago. I'm just happy that we have friends and family that can recognize his development when I forget or when life feels hard. And I just wanted to make this video for all of you who's thinking of getting a feral dog or all of you who's thinking of getting a puppy in general, that things change really quickly and problems can go away. And it's a process that never ends basically. Uh, I have some upcoming videos about potty training and also some more dogs and art. But if you have any suggestions on topics you want me to talk about, it could be in relation to owning a feral hound or owning a dog in general. Just let me know down in the comments. Until next time, take care of yourself, each other, and your dog. Bye.